guys got to certainly focus in uh, uh, better uh, because, you know, Santa Barbara is good. I mean, they return four starters off a team that, that won 20-plus and a leading returning rebounder, fourth leading scorer in the country, and, and uh, they're well coached and talented and they're all older. So uh, uh, they'll be a handful for us, especially with us not really knowing what we're doing yet. So, And then you flip it and you play Kentucky and then you go to Orlando right after that. So. We're just we're not easing into it at all, and uh, we need to be ready and take advantage of these early season opportunities. Yeah, it's, it's imperative. You know, the, the thing about it is with the with the coach, and you guys, I'm sure understand this. Uh, uh, you know, we don't coach to to uh, obviously, you know, for the fans. We coach for our players, but still, yet it, it's hard to play guys when they when if, if they don't know what you're trying to do. The simplest of things when you put them in and. And it's not that, that it's that complicated. It's just you, you just got a situation where, uh, you know, one guy can totally throw off what everybody else is trying to do. And so, you know, we're more concerned about what doing what's best for our team as opposed to an individual, you know, uh, uh, you know, being able to be out there to play. So we'll allow guys to play through mistakes, but they need to have a, a pretty good grasp of what we're doing in order to have the confidence to let them play through mistakes. And right now we're, we're trying to get there. We're not quite there yet. Well, I mean, on our final play card of the season, we'll have a minimum of 70 to 90 things that we can do. And right now, we've probably got 20 things that we can do. But but to be quite candid, the majority of the 20 things that we can do are our meat and potatoes. And so, so uh, I mean, we'll put in different things to get guys shots. But we need to develop roles and, and that kind of stuff to be able to do that. But but right now, we got some generic stuff that we got to get in, you know, a couple of – a few quick hitting plays. Hopefully, uh, that'll be crutches for us if, if things aren't going well. But, but for the most part, it's it's basically meat and potatoes, and that's what we got to understand better. Our guys have got to be able to understand and execute what we're trying to do on both ends. We really need. Every, we we really haven't had separation like I thought we would. Uh, 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 both inside and on the perimeter. I mean, you can make a case for Cliff in certain situations, Landon in certain situations. You know, Mari and Perry are going to play regardless, and certainly you can make a case for. Any of our six perimeter players being starters, uh, uh, so I'd like to see a little bit more separation. Uh, yeah, I think we will. We've been working pretty hard the past you know, couple of days, kind of putting things together that you know didn't, didn't quite go right in the first game. You know, kind of patching stuff together. So, I I, th I think we'll definitely show improvement this next game. Right. Well, I mean, it, that's you know pretty much in itself. You know, like like you said, I had to sit out. You know, I couldn't really, I could practice you know all day long, but I couldn't you know put it into a game. So now this year. You know, I can practice, and then hopefully whatever I learn in practice I can show in the game, you know. So pretty much, you know, that's the difference right there, just taking it from practice to a game. A lot. I mean, especially with, like, the younger guys and, and myself, you know, because uh, I kind of struggle a little bit with kind of learning the plays a little sometimes. So that's one thing with me. I mean, I'm, I try and pay attention and, you know, listen and do everything that I need to do. But, you know, sometimes it's just about repetition, you know, and I didn't really get a lot of that last year, you know, as far as the offensive side. So... Uh, I think, like you I mean, like you said, a lot of it's been, you know, about learning the plays. You know, new guys need to learn the plays, and then just trying to get everybody on the same page so we can, you know, take steps forward. Yeah, well, we started in the off season, like maybe a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month ago. You know, learning all the plays and uh, learning the defensive schemes and uh, what coach want on, de on the defensive end. And you know, the games are coming quick, so everyone should start um, just trying to pick up things like quicker. Yeah, because uh, I was once that guy last year, you know, obviously the plays are a lot more complicated than uh, from high school, the transition from high school. So getting in the office with the coaches during the week, uh, maybe on the weekend, I just tell them that it'll help a lot and uh, it'll be more smooth if they can uh, get the chance to do that. Yeah, I think that's good because uh, that's what we're used to doing. You know, he he uh, he passed the ball good. Not saying that I can't pass, but... Uh, he distributed the ball good. You know, he found teammates, and uh, I think I'm good in transition. You know, good at creating shots for others too. But uh, I think I can get the ball in the basket.